Yo, what's good, man? It's the Kid Domination. I know what's popping on my side. Free Bang and Smurf. I'm in here with Product of Society. Street Entertainment, nigga. You know how we do. Silverbacks. I'm the mayor to get a rookie of the century. I'm a problem for the industry, man. If y'all don't know me by now, y'all niggas is doing something wrong. Gangsta Flip Records, SBG, and all that. You know what I'm talking about? I know you might see a lot of motherfuckers running around with my sign on their truck, but mm. I'm about to sue niggas behind that shit because that's our sign. Shout out to my nigga Uzi. Made that shit years ago, and my rim company nigga gave the shit to one of these clown ass niggas to put on their trucks, and they put it as God first, so we ain't really beef about it at first, but now I'm starting to see it a little bit more, and it's starting to get aggravating and annoying, so, you know, we're gonna get on our bullshit again, you know? It's 08, about to set shit straight. On some real shit, like, <laughs> I wasn't taking rap serious at first. Smurf really made me take it serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, plus, the big nigga from our block was 50 Cent, so, you know, like, everything seemed to fall in place at the time. Four years ago, I really started writing songs and doing shit like that. I ain't know how to write a song before then, none of that, you know what I'm saying? I just used to be writing, writing on the block and doing my thing, and that's how I earned my street name, Domination. I was dominating it, though. Knocking niggas out the box, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna fuck with me for my hood. But long story short, the nigga 50, you know, he provided a conduit for, for, for our situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he gave us that hope, like, yo, I we can really do this rap shit and make it. Like, the nigga signed a million dollar deal, he from my hood, he from 134 and got bro, you know what I'm saying? And I know the nigga personally since he was signed to Track Masters and before that, like, just him being a, a street nigga, like, you know, we knew niggas, we bumped heads, you know, like. So it's like well over 10 years witnessing shit, plus my cousin, God bless the dead, Freaky Ty, he made it out the hood also, so that that also provided the conduit for us, like, yeah, we could do this shit, you know what I'm saying, let's, let's get some legal money, you know? And the nigga Smurf snatched me up, when he got sent back home off the tour and shit, and then he fit the nigga home, and he snatched me up like, yo, Damo, we gonna work, we gonna work, we gonna work, for real. At first, I wasn't believing it, then knocking out three songs a day, three songs a day, and I got my buzz up crazy. When I got my buzz up, you know, it's, it's did nothing but grow since then, you know, and I just improved since then. Said, I'm never one for the riff and that talking and getting you nowhere but missing the 40, the Smith and the scope will leave you smoke from a distance. Black gang, plus you know the gorillas, but guarantee you don't know we gripping a hole in your biscuit to show you the difference between them killers and them hoes that be fibbing. We talk where we living and take things that ought to be given. Middle fingers, what I offer the system. Judge Wong trying to toss me in prison. I fuck with bloods and the boys that be crypting. Yeah. Fuck sharp, then I'ma call you my niggas. It's so love when I call you my bitches. I got shotguns taller than midges. Bullets to spread all over the district. Gloves to keep the fingerprints up off of the triggers. I'm a gun boy. Got cases for blazing my hammers. Got partners up in the slammer. Got cartridges all bananas. Who want it? That's the question. So holler back with an answer. Mm. Ty was the illest nigga in the world. I ain't even gonna hold you up. Not just saying that's because that's, that's my cousin and shit like that. You can ask niggas in the hood. Ty was a real ass nigga. He connected both sides of the bridge and shit. You know, because we got like... Across the man wick, niggas ain't really fuck with each other like that. Like you had Docs on one side, you had Lost Boys on one side, you had LFM on one side. Everybody was separate, but Ty really connected all of those points, you know what I'm saying? And he fucked with everybody. Like Ty used to come through on a dirt bike all the time, beefing broccoli's on with the fucking car hearts on. He was doing the real queens with it, you know what I'm saying? Like Ty used to take the van everywhere he go, have a wad of money. All the kids that did good in school, Ty would take them and go buy them sneakers and shit like that. Like, Ty was just a real all-around nigga, you know? So, even if it wasn't my cousin, it would've hurt. Like, the whole neighborhood was crying. I found out about the shit on the Humble. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't believe it at first. But then I went outside. I went to my aunt's house and it was puddles everywhere. Puddles. I mean, grown men crying, crying for real, you know? Ty was a... A real nigga, God bless the dead. He ain't never took no shit from nobody. He ain't never fronted on nobody. He, he was just an ill nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he handled his business. Like, he was the leader of the crew, period. You know what I'm saying? Lost Boys, he had niggas on his back like this, nigga. We moving here, we moving there. Across the bridge, nigga used to come across the bridge to fuck with us. And everything was smooth until I was alive. You know, it was a lot better than, than it is right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit is foul right now. It's corny. Niggas shooting each other. Wild corny shit. It wasn't like that back when I came front. Niggas used to get their little body and all fights and shit like that, but wasn't nobody really getting body like that for stupid reasons, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ty died and he like, it, it like killed the spirit of Queens to me, well, South Side at least. I don't know about any other side, but it really killed the spirit of South Side. Murph ain't a rapper or nothing like that, but he was around 50, so he knew how to structure a song. I just know how to go off the top of my head and just keep going, keep going, keep going, you know what I'm saying? 
Smurf show me how to put it together and make a song and make it a hook, you know what I'm saying? And make it mean something. Like, if you listen to my songs, you can see that I'm well put together. Like, the way I structure my songs, everything is fire. Like, you know, and that's not to brag, but if you hear my music, you know, I know how to do it. And I know how to touch subjects from, from the street shit, which is real shit that niggas been through and still going through as we speak. And then I know how to touch sensitive subjects like shit with your girl that you go through or shit with your, your child that you go through, real shit like that. Even, you know, like situations with me and my mother. And, you know, a lot of people got love for their mother. You got to express all that shit in your music. You got to be all around and versatile, you know. I learned that dealing with Smurf, you know. I listen to none of these niggas, honestly. Real talk, like, I mean, who I feel. I could say I feel I feel a nigga Jeezy and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But I listen to a lot of my local niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Papa Dom. Nigga Ghostface stole a fucking song from my nigga. Mm. Real talk. It's on his album and, and he didn't just steal the words to the song. He stole the singing, everything to this shit. Go listen to Ghost album, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga Papa Dawn singing. He talking about it, some other nondescript nigga that he had in the studio and shit. My man called him out on that shit, but you know, I just listen to hood niggas, for real. It's dead right now. I still believe that, you know what I'm saying? I believe it's dead because a lot of the old heads ain't passing the torch and they're not coaching the younger niggas on how to how to make their albums better and get their money right, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these niggas don't understand the game on their own. They just like, yo, let me go put this fucking song together and it's gonna be hot, this, that, and the third. Every song you make is not hot, Holmes. You know what I'm saying? That goes to well, like Queen's artists. I mean, <laughs> Wow. I don't know no Queens artists. Size 50, I mean, 50 doing his thing. Like, he, he got the industry scared him right now. He got the shit locked down right now. Shit, I could say I'm happy about that. That's a Queens nigga. Got a lot of niggas under pressure. Nobody's responding to the nigga right now. And that make me feel good because he's not only from Queens, he's from my hood and my block. You know what I'm saying? So, that make you feel some sort of way. Definitely. This game is a bunch of leeches. Niggas is trying to eat off you, man. They, ain't nobody trying to help you in this fucking game. So, you got to help yourself. At the end of the day, you gotta learn to do for yourself and don't ask for no handouts or nothing like that because that's where you're gonna be at at the end. Don't expect nothing from nobody because if you expect shit from people, you're just gonna get your feelings hurt. Man, I know, I know she got the shit, naming this shit, his album and all that, you know. I hollered at the homie on peaceful terms. There's no no beef between me and the nigga because I've been fucking with shit. You know what I'm saying? He was signing the couch, I was signing the couch. He called me out for the fucking video shoot. That la da 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 I was in that video, you know what I'm saying? I fucks with shit. I ain't got no bad words for shit or nothing like that. But, I mean, niggas know who the Silverback Gorillas is. Niggas know since day one who Silverback Gorillas was, who it is. Even his DJ, like, I fucks with Big Mike also. Big Mike host, hosted my first mixtape. Silverback Gorillas is all over it. Silverback Gorillas is all over Groundwork 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm about to put out Groundwork 9. We still the Silverback Gorillas. You see, it's on my jacket. You know? Like, you can't riff over a name. Sheik, my nigga, he gonna holla at me. We holla at each other on whatever terms it is, you know? I spoke to the nigga like a man, peacefully, like, yo, son, on some real shit. You know, Silverback Gorillas, is, that's our team. That's been us. We've been rocking with Silverback Gorillas. You could Google that shit and look us up. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna pop up with Silverback Gorillas except Bam Smurf and Domination. Young Dice, niggas that's affiliated with my team. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not sweating that thing. Day. I made, that's my name. You see what I'm saying? Like, I put blood, sweat, and tears out for that name. But I'm not gonna riff with this nigga because, like I said, that's, that's my dude. I fucks with the nigga. I ain't coming them sideways. I've been places with the nigga, so it's like it's senseless. Like we could we could work it out under the table. I don't touch nobody that don't touch me and don't try to do something to me first. You know what I'm saying? I never promote violence. I don't agree with it, period. But if somebody trying to step on your toes, then you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I don't promote violence, but I, I will get ugly if niggas push you to that point, you know? I, I figure it like this, I'm what you make me. And that's it at the end of the day. I'm not like, yo, I'm just wild killer, kill this nigga to stand the third. No, I'm what you make me. You know, if you force me to shoot you, I'm gonna shoot you. If you force me to punch you in your face, I'm gonna punch you in your face. If you force me to slap you, I'm gonna slap you. And that's how it is, you know? MySpace.com slash domination SDG. And y'all can find all the links to, to all our people there. Shout out to Sebo, Yuck Mouth on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with my niggas out there. Shout out to Silverback Gorillas in the South. My nigga Chico Red and all the niggas down there doing their thing. Shout out to my niggas in VA, Wise DeMarco, my nigga Bree. Cell, I see you, man. My nigga Cell got locked up, man. Free Cell. Free my nigga Russ. My nigga Fresh just came home, so shout out to him. Damn, man, there's too many people. My nigga Whip Post be coming home. January 19th. 
J Chronic, shout out to him. My nigga Ice just came home, shout out to him. Shout out to my nigga Ice in Atlanta. Word, Sun Lee and all the niggas, you know, they do their KR, KR entertainment thing. We about to murder with them also, because these are my dudes, so, you know, you to holler at them too. We done this and this, this, this. That's my people's word, we like this. Fucks with my book when niggas all about it. And also, gangsta flip records. Hey, yo, Bang Smurf, Domination, Gangsta Flip Records, IMG, Hit Mob, Universal, Young Dice, Lil Rock, Wise DeMarco. Y'all know what time it is, man. We about to fly this motherfucking bitch, man. We gone, man. Product of society, man. Streets entertainment.